What is the worst pickup line that you have heard, used? When I was in college, there was one liquor store in the area that wouldn't did, but barely anyone ever went there, wasn't sure why. Anyways, I go there, get a bottle and in front of me was a girl from the college. She gets wrung out and I grab my bottle and as I'm walking out the door, this fat homeless guy looks up at her and yells. Damn girl you look so good I just wanna chop you up and put you in my sandwich. And makes a WHRLLBRGH noise as he showcases how he would approach this metaphorical hottie sandwich. Never seen someone run that fast to their color mayo. I guess homeless guys are always eating out. I was bar hopping with some mates. Already quite drunk. We walk into a bar, grab our drinks and before we sit down. One of my friends turned to me and says hey, watch this. I knew he was up to something. I turn around to see him walking straight to a girl at the bar. It went down like this. Friend. Hey. Did you fall from heaven? Huh? Blushes WH. Friend. Because it certainly looks like it. He cracks up and staggers away. I was absolutely stunned. I had to go and apologize on his behalf. Ended up chatting to her the whole night. Got her number and met up with her a week later. He insists that was the plan all along. But I'm not convinced. Wingman. 100. You are good woman. I am good man. I don't know why. But I read this with a Russian accent. Strong like bull. Frick like rabbit. Said to me by a super short dude. We are all the same height laying down. Um. But boobs. I was at a concert and I overheard a girl ask a guy. Hey. Can I borrow your lighter? Sure. Here you go. Can I borrow your number? Sure. Here you go. That shit actually worked. Are you a toaster? Because I want to take a bath with you. Used this once on Tinder and it worked lol. Classic. You know the dress you're wearing would look even better laying on the floor next to my bed said to me on the early 80s. Some say the dress is still on that floor. Are you a fire alarm? Because you're really freaking loud and annoying. Are you a piñata? Cause I'd need a blindfold to smash that. I'd break every chair in the world just to have you sit on my face. I don't know if I'm more concerned about the pickup line or your username. They probably got an STD from all the face sitting. Man your username is wild too. No shit. About 12 years ago, a buddy and I sat down at a dive bar. He looked at the chick next to him and just said wanna bang. She looked him up and down briefly and went yay. Alright, let me finish this beer first. It was impressive and disgusting. Short, to the point, and easy enough to ignore if it doesn't work. Problem. It might work. That's what she said. I have also used this pickup line, but while at a bar and blackout drunk. The fine gentleman I was propositioning gave me his number and sent me on my way home. Are you Abraham Lincoln? Because you're causing an uprising down south. Question said worst pickup line. Exactly. This is maybe the best pickup line. Ever. Oh no my slaves are escaping. I had a friend who went up to a girl in a bar and asked did you just sit in a puddle. Or are you pleased to see me. Cha cha real smooth. No I just have no control of my bladder. Seeing the doc on Monday. Are you a bank loan? Cause you got my interest. Reserved. Okay this one isn't that bad. Except it's backwards. You have the bank's interest. And everyone knows pickup lines are only as effective as they are fundamentally sound from a financial standpoint. Girl. Are you a country or place with very low effective rates of compulsory financial charges for foreign investors? Because I find this conversation very untaxing. You look just like my sister. Dixie plays. Not to objectify you in any way, and I mean this in a respectful way, but I want to gargle your junk like a garbage disposal. I drunkenly said that to my best friend's sister during his wedding reception. For the record, I got her number. Gana need a follow up bud. She paid for my Uber home and entered her phone number in my phone after a night of terrible dancing and singing Backstreet Boys together. The next afternoon while I was sobering up. I apologized to my homie over text while he and his wife were flying to their honeymoon destination. He thought it was hilarious. 
A few weeks later I got back together with my child's father after a 4 month breakup and never texted her back. I saw her almost a year ago at my friend's baby shower. She's going through some stuff, so I had to talk and smoke with her to calm her down during the baby shower. We didn't talk about the wedding. Used on me by another female. Walked up to me pulled her jeans pockets out and then asked would you like to kiss a bunny on its nose? Jeans pockets? On women's jeans? She's a lucky gal. Did you see the mistake in Spotify? They didn't have you as the hot single. To this day, I still cringe at that. A that pickup line isn't as terrible as it could be. It should be. Peanut's got it wrong. You're never one of the hot singles in my area. Those glasses make you look like a peenster. When I was visibly had a what the frick look he then panicked and said. No no I meant they'd make me look like a peenster then stole them off my face and put them on like see? I did not see. Because funnily enough I couldn't see without my glasses. Whoa. I thought I was bad pull dude he died a noble death lol. I, unfortunately, can't picture being the guy. Horrified at what just came out of my mouth. Trying to shuffle off stage left. I've never seen a man look so horrified in a pair of oversized vintage glasses before. I am moist. Friend of a friend used it on a girl. Max, you're like a jar of Nutella. Cause you're thick and I'm trying to spread it. We're both guys. And he knows I'm not gay. I'm a woman. When I see a guy with a cool shirt I say nice tits as an opener. Does it work? They often like the directness. I would appreciate it as well. My friend was once hit with. Do you work at Subway? Because I'm pretty sure you gave me a $5 foot long. Wait is your friend a male prostitute? 20 bucks is 20 bucks. My friend said he had great pickup line. It was are you my toe? Cause I wanna bang you against a furniture at my place. My other friend, already wasted, Insisted that he would try it on a hot girl at a bar. We followed him as he approached and said. Hey are you my toe? Cause. You look. Like my toe. That was probably the worst I've heard. Could have been love. But it's over now. It must have been good. Pulled this one straight out of Joe Dirt. Was drunk and flirting with this girl at my friend's party. I honestly wasn't getting the impression that she was that into me, but she still seemed to enjoy my company and it was fun conversation. Anyway, we were eavesdropping on these two other people that were flirting with each other hard as and they were definitely going to bang it out at night. Lots of heavy petting, etc. I forget exactly what it was, but the guy dropped some super corny pickup line and the girl absolutely swooned. We were laughing about it and then I just looked directly at her and said with all seriousness if I told you that you had a great body, would you hold it against me? She did. Well done Brett. My dong just died can I bury it in your ass? It's hilarious when you can combine sodomy and necrophilia in one sentence. It's better than combining them into a one night stand. Years from now they will call that poetry. Damn girl you shit with that ass. I jerk off her daddy just to see where she came from. Wanna do a 68? That's where you go down on me and I owe you one. I do loves galas. She's always on points with her objectifications. And that's what I appreciate about her. Is that what you appreciate about her? I had a period in my 20 ties where I was very very desperate to find a new girlfriend. Too desperate to succeed. I was trying to be funny and came up with the following idea. In Germany, a common term for hitting on someone is called an bagern. Dig on someone. So I went to a toy store and bought a little matchbox toy digger. Went to a club, chatted with women at the bar, and started casually playing with a toy excavator on the bar and touching her with the shovel until they finally asked what's that for and I could answer well I'm digging you. Never worked. Not my proudest moments. By the time that they get to the point that they're asking you what you're doing you've already weirded them out. Points for creativity and desperation though. Great for some cute points after dating someone for a bit. 100% sounds like something I'd do to make my wife laugh after we started dating. 20 ties. 20 ties. 20 ties. 2 noughties. Roses are red tires are black when I think about you I touch my ball sack. Gym teachers specifically. You've got two hands, 
but three holes so cover up the two you don't want me in. Covers nostrils. Aims for the ears. Hear me cumin. Write a phone number on a lime in permanent sharpie and give it to someone. If they ask why you have your phone number on a lime, say it's a pickup lime. I actually did this in high school to a bunch of different people. But this is a lame way of doing it. You have to have a whole bag of limes. Every one of them with your phone number. And walk up to someone in the hallway and bump into them spilling all the limes. Then when they help you pick them up, you keep fumbling and dropping them. When you finally get all, be one of them, you nervously say sorry, I'm just really bad at pick up limes and then run away. I got like 4 people to text me back, but I was just doing it for the joke so I never really started talking to anyone. That's so much better than the original. Are you a medium rare steak? Cause it eat you even if you were bleeding. I'm so glad I put away my food before reading your answer.